Hey guys, so I am going to show you an auction that I won um, about three, four days ago. And uh, what's neat about this one is we spent probably 250 260 on it. It'll be interesting uh, what we're going to find in here to make our money back. I always like when you see this when you're buying the auction. It means they tried to save it. Um, one of the things I did like when I was looking at the room, like this is exactly how I had it. I did like the moose photograph with the signature. I um, thought that was pretty nice. Oh, there's another. So, got that. And then I knew these were not terrible. They're not the best, but they weren't terrible. Uh, these angel lamps, I'll only get about 20, 30 bucks for them. But here's another picture. Then in the back, I saw a bunch of frames all the way in the back there. So it'll be interesting if we find anything very good or not. Um, Let's see what else is in here. Got a rug. Another wool rug. And it looks like an empty tote. Some good linens. It's kind of different. There might be a bunch of frame stuff in here that's maybe better than uh, old wedding photos. All right, sorry it's so dark. These are always wardrobes normally. Yeah, this is kind of cool. What is it? Oh, it's a hunting vest. That's darn neat. Go shoot some uh, skeet with that jacket or something else. Now let's see. We got a Taekwondo or something belt. Look at all the belts. You made it all the way to brown. That's pretty neat too. Anything in the basket or in the suitcase? No. I thought these were interesting. This is her. She was pretty. Let's see. Oh, that is good. All the boxes are full of art. So we got one, two, three, four boxes of art. I like, also like that bag back there, and there's more art in the back, so that's really good. We'll have to go through the art in a little bit. Um, just going to try to get to the back here and see if there's anything else good. Uh, all right, I got to go get a knife. I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I got a knife. I can cut these open. Uh, I don't know. This isn't anything special. I could sell those two scarves, probably. This is decent. It's ripped, but it's good. It's silk, and it's got that 60s pattern. What do you think, Levi? It's got a great collar. Yep, it's a good Levi's jacket. That's 15, 20 bucks. This one's locked. We'll make it interesting. 
is this thing? It's nothing really. She had some fancy clothes. I really hope there's some jewelry in here. That would be awesome. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Scarves. Some scarves can be really good. Whenever you get some silk scarves, always take your time and look them up. Um, I've sold them for a hundred bucks before. All right. We have this box of clothes. Looks like, looks like it's coats. Ooh, I see something good. It is. Full length fur. Doesn't look too bad. Trick with the furs, see if they're worth money. You always check the arms. If the arms aren't ripped, then normally you can get a hundred bucks for them. So it's not dry rotted. It's got a few little moths, but what do you think? Another one? That might be. Nope. That's a tuxedo. Let's see. Tall, short. I don't know. The the men's jackets aren't bad. Nothing as good as that fur coat. I could sell that sweater if it didn't have so many holes. Pure cashmere. Um. What is this? SM. So that's their boat. And they had a boat. That's a good thing. It's a Ralph Lauren tux. Um, Alright, we'll go through a couple. Of, oh, here's a suitcase. We'll go through that if this will open. So it's a. It's a not a higher end room, but it is better. Uh, well, I guess it is higher end. I've got a shot of finding something decent. These photos are kind of fun. I think they're just wedding photos. Nineteen forty-two. I don't know. Vintage photos always sell. Uh, that one's risque, and it looks vintagey. See her hiding out of that bathhouse. That's kind of funny. Well, we found a one dollar Canadian bill and cruise pictures. Looks like they're doing the exercises and some other stuff. That one's not terrible. I'd say on the cart with uh, the fur coat, um, we're at probably 150 bucks, some, somewhere in there. I'll, I'll be able to sell some of these coats. Um, oh, I'm so heavy. So this is starting to look better. This is a silver frame, sterling silver right there. I don't know if you guys can read that. That's good. It looks like the one underneath it might be sterling. That's awesome. That's pretty big too. Yeah, Gorham sterling frame. Well, they had some money. Oh wow, look at this one. Look at the... Look at the birds on this. The storks, I guess they are. It says arrived 1956. Seven pounds, five ounces, but... I don't know, they can have the photo. I'm stealing the frame. I'm not stealing the frame, I bought the frame. Awesome! Another silver frame. They got married in 54. Alright, a 
Come on. Keep on giving, box. Another. Let's see. How many silver frames is that so far? One, two, three, four, five. Five silver frames. Come on, one. Six. It's another one. 19. Uh, 1958. That is a scary looking baby. <laughs> He's kind of fun though. I can't believe it. Oh uh, no, I don't know if you are. Nope, you're silver plate. Ooh. That's really nice. It's a bronze frame, Victorian. That, that's... Well, I guess I paid for the room. So everything else now is a profit. I wonder if there's any more silver frames, though. Nope, not silver. Aluminum. And more aluminum. Pretty lucky right now. What is this guy? Oh, 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 oh. Silver frame. Let's see. It should say sterling on it somewhere right there. See the lion head? It's an English sterling frame. And it's a happy birthday, Dad. That's pretty cute. Definitely have to give them back their frame or their photos. I'm not gonna keep them, but. I'm going to scrap the silver. Oh, is this another one? No, this is just Pottery Barn. I'm not going to take the, the non-silver out of the frames. That's a fun one. There's some more big frames. He's got a shot. silver frame. Man, we're going to have to recount. I'm, I'm lost on how many I have now. That feels like it's silver. So The silver ones tend to be thinner. No, nope. it's just brass. Alright, I'll put the rest of those back. But let's see, in silver frames we got one, two, three, four, five, and uh, eight little ones, All right? One, two, three, four, five large ones, and three little ones. But that antique bronze ones, awesome. All right, I'm happy. Uh, I'll get back to you with the next uh, cool thing I find in here. I'm ready to dig now. All right, so quick run through what's on this shelf. There's some. Uh, light bulbs there's uh two boxes of them um oh, more picture frames nothing in silver some computer speakers some cassette tapes Let's see pippin um some older uh oh please 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 look at that sealed is it brass? Or I mean uh, metal? Some of these sealed cassettes can be awesome in price wise. When they say metal on them, uh, that chart looks pretty good. Best for CDs, super. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, don't know. We'll put those aside for online. Pretty cool. Got a bunch of cassette tapes. And we have these boxes to go through. Um, ooh, I see a red box. You see it? Move this over. Move that over. Now 
that is cool. And it's locked. I have no clue how to open that. But I guess, oh man, it's such a pretty box. It's a shame to bust it. I didn't want to bust it, but I might have to. What to do, bust or not bust? Why don't we shake it and see what's in it? It feels heavy. It feels real heavy. Oh, it sounded good too. to do what to do it's got double combo I mean it's definitely a 50 to 100 dollar box but here watch listen to this oh look at this there's a little alarm so you can know if somebody's screwing with it I think that might be the thing to do though go through the bottom Like the way they have it set, if you pick it up, it rings. Ding, 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 ding. That's pretty cool. That's why it's an alarm cache box. <sighs> Feels like there's money in here. What's that say? I can't read it. I want to say office, but. Not sure. So, all right, we're gonna put that aside. And yes, I think, I think we're gonna have to go mush it. But we have these boxes of art. Oh wait, let's see what else was in there. Looks like more personal stuff. Yeah, so we'll leave them all this tax receipts and some more art ocean art whenever you clean out estates in the paper normally older people always left the money in uh, in with the bills so I don't know I always seem to just check it fast and what is that sewing kit and that is not the key for that safe maybe the key for the safe will be right here because the box it came out of but it sounded like it was locked I don't want to break it an iPhone It's not an iPhone. What is this? Another little box. Alright. No, nothing special. Another iPhone box. I don't think that's an iPhone. Some scrap stuff. I have no clue what this is. Alright, I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna go get the hammer. What is this? We'll figure this out first. Oh, it's a Polaroid. That's awesome. Some of those are decent. Alright. Yeah, I should have had my finger on it. I didn't see it. it said Polaroid the whole time. All right. That's going to be the end of the video. We're going to open that little safe. All right. All right. So I'm going to cut these art boxes open real fast. And we're going to see what's in here before we do the safe. Or the little clock box. Artwork that could be good. 
doesn't look... I was worried that it was going to be like a mirror or something. Mirrors sell, but they don't sell anywhere near as good as they used to. So we got an early map. That's a lot of fun. Look at this guy. It's a page from book. Uh, what do you think, poster or photograph? Poster. It's a nice poppy though. That will sell. Yes, another map of New Jersey. 1846. Ha ha! That is a winner. Awesome, awesome. Look at that. All right, let me get the next one out of there. Awesome. Here's one more map. It's of New Jersey also, but let's see. This one have a date on it like that one. It's got the rail lines in it, so it's definitely early or later. But 1846, that's like, whew, that's super early. Yeah, Ocean City's not there. Atlantic City's not there. Great. I have to get that one looked up or put it at an auction. We had one more poster in that one. Wow, if the art's going to be that good. We got three more boxes. Oh, imagine what's in that box now. All right, I'm feeling lucky. All right, I'm going to get the next one. Here we go. Oh, so I got three maps of different towns in New Jersey. All right, what do I do with the knife? All right, I'll get back. All right, found the knife. I'm just gonna cut this real fast. Ooh, now this one has really, really nice frame. Could be something. See this white matting? That's always... Uh, somebody took some time to frame it. That is pretty. It's as good. Same size. Oh, I like this. I would almost hang this in my house. Man, look how beautiful that is. Got the mountains in the background. The birch trees. That's as beautiful, I think. It's a litho, but it's, it's super cool. There's still more in this box, too. Uh, oh, we got Victorian girls. That frames are pretty cool, too. Oh. They are super sweet. I think it's definitely a litho or something. We got one more picture right here. What is it? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> that's a smile and a half. I think, put that over there. All right, well, maybe I'm going to have to keep that just because I think it's cool. Um, and I'm going to sell most of the other stuff. We got to get to New Jersey. There's a couple paintings in here. All right, I've got to figure out how to take this box apart. 
All right, so if the art is this good, what is in this box? Oh man, I so want to open that up. I am being patient though. Wow, so these are just mom and dad pictures. I got one, two mom and dads. Humpback whale, it's nothing special. That's kind of weird with the dog. It's not bad looking though. Another humpback. So my guess is they... Alright. And I had this one here. Um, pull this out to the left. Ooh. Behind it. Behind it there was two pictures. Three pictures. There's one more. Really like the buffaloes. That's pretty darn cool. Buffaloes are neat. What is this one? Oh, it's a watercolor. That's pretty cool. You can see the ocean in the background. I think that's what that is. Oh, that's the signature. I can't quite read it. But I'm probably going to dump all this art at auction. Just because I don't want to make a huge mistake at the flea market with art. This is a big picture, it feels like. All right, I'm gonna bring it out of here. Awesome. That is cool. I don't know who it is, but it is. Here, I was going to put you guys down to look at it. It is neat. I'm going to grab the next one. There's two more pictures in here. This is just a poster. Chagall poster. And last but not least. Yeah, we're gonna go pick cotton. I don't know. I it was definitely worth like I I didn't spend I didn't think that much on this, but you know, it was almost three hundred dollars. And I really feel like I scored right now. I know I can get close to three hundred dollars for that for the silver that was on those frames. That seems like such a long time ago. That's a painting, too, of the loons. Pretty neat. See those? But, again, by far my favorite picture. I'm going to go get something to open that lockbox. So that way we can have some fun. All right. All right, so <laughs> I came back. I got my Thor hammer. And uh, I am super, super psyched about uh, what could be in here. I know that the, the lockbox, if, if I had the key and the combo that is not on any of these things or in, the, in any of the boxes, I could probably get 50 to 100 bucks easy for this box. But we are gonna mush it. That's my plan. So with lockboxes, the easiest way to do it Normally, is you stick them right on the corner, like that. And let's see. All right. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to knock you over, but it just did open. So. Please be something good. Let me 
feels good. Uh, we got nickels. Nickels are not the best. They're older nickels. We got, let's see. Half dollars, 69, 64 is silver, so all these half dollars are not silver. 67, this isn't looking good. We got Eisenhower's, whoop, nope, 76. I mean, not doing bad in cash wise, but. Up, uh, up, 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 up. Whole bag. All right, it was worth it. I'm happy. This is the first time I found decent treasure. All silver coins. It's like in a, hitting a jackpot on a lottery thing. Well, that one's not silver, but you can see most of them are. See. 64, 64. It's a 65. <coughs> 63, 41. Uh, it looks like they kept the roll of 65s right when they switched, but they're in like pristine condition. That's uh, a 64. It's a 61. But yeah, right there is 65. I would say 200 silver quarters about. Awesome. We got all these nickels. Sorry I broke the box for everybody who wanted me to save it, but I think it was pretty neat. And it, I can still use it. Still kind of cool. If I wanted to, I'll probably just grab it though. Awesome. All right, so that was, I don't know, a good room. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't always score like this, so I am put a smile on my face. Um, hope you like, like the video. I'll see everybody next, next time. I'm almost, I'm getting close to my thousand subs, so if you haven't, uh, subscribed, please push the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace. So, if you guys haven't guessed, this is now my new lucky hammer. So, man, that was a good video. All right.